All right, boys, the best chance to change your life, your parents' life, whoever, whoever's life you wanna change, you can now do it for $70. This is a Black Friday deal. I've been super busy with the holidays, wasn't able to promote this. So for a limited time, $70 flash sale. That's all it is, 70 bucks. You guys pay for that in a tank of gas nowadays to win my insanely clean, professionally built with the BDS lift, lifetime warranty lift, and the one of a kind in Shane Designs wrap, Karen Colorado, the one that was made famous on YouTube by my Karen videos. $70 down in the description on three supply. You buy a poster, there's only a thousand slides lots available and you can win my truck. My channel is small. This is a very small group of people. So all those other giveaways you're seeing going on are up against tens of thousands of people. With my channel being this small, your chances have never been better to win a sick truck. Imagine this in your driveway, being able to tear up the snow, go off-roading or just be a sweet piece of driveway candy. Enter now and give yourself the Christmas present you deserve. Not the best day to make this video. You guys know that this channel is primarily truck content. As a matter of fact, it's almost been exclusively off-roading Chevy truck content for the last two years, which I'm not complaining. I love that. This channel started off with a Mustang. Uh, that was essentially what was like the big jump for this channel other than my little Dodge Dakota, but we'll get into all that later. Don't jump down my throats just yet. You guys saw the title, the brand new Chevy Corvette Z06. Sick carbon fiber wheels, a whole bunch of other stuff. We'll go over that. Let's take this thing for a spin because I have such an important decision to make. Damn, even the blacked out badges, front splitter. The Stingray looked good. So you knew that the Z06 was gonna look even better. Just gets me even more hyped for what Chevy has coming down the pipe. I've never seen a Z06 in person, the C8 Z06 rather. So from first time seeing it to first time driving it is in less than like five minutes. So that's like a record for me with new vehicles. It's a little rainy out. Uh, big shout out to Street Speed 717. Obviously you guys know whose vehicle this is. Pretty soon Mike's gonna be my brother-in-law. So big shout out to him uh, hooking me up with stuff like this. Um, I, I try not to collaborate with him too much anymore just because uh, you guys are right. This channel needed to go its own direction, so that's what we tried to do. And then every once in a while, I still like to indulge in uh, my friend's fortune. So I hope this doesn't come across as me using Mike. Obviously, I am because this is his car, but this is also a way for me to show my audience uh, a pretty cool vehicle and a very important decision that I need to make. Damn, for my next purchase. This is a very wide car. The Aventador SVJ that he has is a lot wider, but, and I know that's an insanely tight fit into this garage but this one is pretty freaking wide. That's crazy. Yeah, a little rainy out today. One thing I'm actually gonna do is take my wedding ring off. Uh, not that I wanna look single in the Corvette, but the fact that the, the 10 and two is rewarded in this vehicle, that's the way you're meant to drive. This sort of square shaped steering wheel and the top being carbon fiber, it's smacked on top here a couple times. Uh, do not want to scratch this thing up. So taking my wedding ring off to drive this around. Still got the Z button here. Slight tone change in the exhaust. That sounds great. It sounds great whenever you're in like the stock quietest mode that you possibly can. But yeah, whenever that Z mode kicks in, it sounds just fierce. Yeah, this is like the perfect amount of rain outside right now that I have my truck out. It's, it's one of those where you just barely tap on the gas. Trucks are obviously very light in the rear and coming around a corner, wanted a fishtail and uh, had to save it a little bit. So not a big deal, but it's definitely a big deal whenever you're driving someone else's vehicle like this. Wow, oh my God, wow. It's just everything that I've done so far in this vehicle is very impressive. The handling, I've already, I, I've said so many good things about the Corvette C8 and Corvette in general, but this one, man, is just like the cherry on top and, and to see what may happen with the ZR1 is very, very exciting. Can you name any Chevy channels out there? And I don't wanna hear about Tim2 and Tupper Canoe. And I'm sure there's plenty of Chevy focused channels out there in my realm. But on the grand stage anymore, Stradman, uh, DDE, Street Speed 717, these, these guys are, they may have started out as a single car brand or very heavily favored uh, single car brand and now have seen that, hey, whenever you get big enough and you have the money, you migrate, you expand, don't put all your eggs in one basket type thing. So that's on the grand stage. In our realm, in our arena, the minor leagues here on YouTube, it is very easy to succeed with just a single car brand. Um, and it, and it's, it's helpful also that that works out because it's so expensive to go out and do these things. So whenever you're a small channel and you're trying to look for that next step, edge it out, it's good to pick a brand, build a fan base and grow from there. And that's sort of what I've done. You saw him went to Dodge with Ford, 2500, the 6.5 liter diesel went to the Colorado ZR2, my Silverado ZR2. I have that 1595 I just bought the OBS. We're four deep now with Chevy. It seems like we've edged out a pretty good understanding of where this channel, its alliances lie, sort of the faction that we're in. Since Chevy's been so good to this channel, for the most part, 
and we are at birth a racing channel and you want to diversify your audience and diversify your content and expand and branch out why not do that with a, a vehicle that is so tried and tested the mustang great vehicle it just ram same thing i was never really a huge ram guy even though they seem to really prove themselves lately and then there's chevy a corvette that has been steadfast through all the changes obviously up until now where we have the evs coming out but like most of you whenever the c7 came out i was blown away this vehicle is so beyond revolutionary it changed the game it was like man cars can look like this american cars can look like this and then chevy announcing that they're doing the mid-engine was even more insane and all the people moaning and groaning about the mid-engine i hope you're ready to apologize because it's what this car needed it's what chevy needed to do and this really sets it apart from the rest and the fact that we're in a z06 now which although it's extremely expensive we have the means to get one chevy's in my wheelhouse now it's in rf racing's wheelhouse this channel's destiny was racing and i love off-roading but why i feel like we need to be that hybrid channel what others do where it's you have the sports car and you also have the off-roading aspect cool builds crazy stuff even though it checks all the boxes of being insane looking fast reliable consistent with this channel's content it's unfortunately just like the trx would the trx have been an obvious better choice than the Silverado ZR2. Well, it's debatable, but for the most part, the consensus was unanimous saying that the TRX would have been a better choice. Well, I couldn't go with that, even though what seemed like the obvious choice, I wanna do something different. That's why we went with the Colorado ZR2. That's why we went with the Silverado because no other YouTubers were doing it. The Z06, this could be come and gone in less than a month. Wait lists are crazy. Yes, we have the means to possibly get one early, but it's it's such a risk. It's a lot of money. But I don't want to leave you guys hanging here with just a stupid video where nothing comes out of it. I, it's like, oh, I'm going to get this car. Should I get this car? And then everyone's like, yes, and I don't get it anyway. I had to come back in here because of the wind. But the consolation, if we don't go with the Z06, I'm not saying it's a for sure thing because this is such a crazy risk. We took a risk with the Silverado ZR2. We'll see where it takes us uh, and see if the payoff was, if that was the right decision. Here, let's go check out cool stuff that's what's so cool about these mid-engine cars it really maximizes the amount of space that you can have in them because not only do you have this huge not only do you have this super beefy engine in it you also have trunk space back here and obviously the front in the front that's a mouthful hand capped by mike ward i went to school with a mike ward lt6 engine sitting fat back here it looks so pretty a lot of people are a little indifferent about the louvers on the back the like the glass louvers on these it's weird a lot of people don't like the spider look on these vehicles or any vehicle rather uh, but on these, they say it works. I like this a lot better. Uh, the Spider's cool, but I like being able to like, it's like the engine's on display the entire time. It being under glass is so cool to me. I love how Lamborghini does it, Ferrari does it. Now to have an American vehicle capitalizing on that and that's your rear view seat instead of two screaming kids, that's pretty cool. The truck just went backing down this driveway, dirt driveway. I knew it was going to be a problem. I think he's stuck. Uh oh, I don't have my tow ropes on me. I can't hook them out with the uh, the Corvette. Here, let's go. Let's go talk to. Hey, sir, I got a truck like two miles away. I can pull you out in like two seconds. How's he gonna pull me out? Well, I got I got a big tow rope. I can let, I can loop around this, and I can okay. hook it to my truck, and I'll just pull you right out. Oh, because I was about to call my boy. He just literally just went sideways. Yep. I was just coming straight out. Yep, I'll pull you right out. Won't be any problem. All right, cool. If, just give me like 10 minutes, guy. I can run there and I'll run right back. Oh, okay, all, all right. right. Are you a tow truck? He's not a tow truck, is he? No, but it's, I, if I can get on the asphalt here and it'll be no problem. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, it's not going to damage this thing, right? This is going to waste freaking time. I mean, you're going to have to give it some gas and oh, I'll, yeah, of course. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. pull on it, but yeah, we, we should be good. He doesn't have a chain. Well, I got a tow rope and it's like, it's meant for off, off-roading. It's oh, not okay, gonna break okay. or nothing. Yeah, gotcha, it'll, gotcha. it'll pull these out. Cause I can't damage the truck, I'll get you. No, no problem. Yep, this we'll... thing just like went sideways, it went sideways, right? I went straight back too. Yep. I went straight back. Are you, are you trying to deliver at this house or? No, 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 I'm trying to service the quarter party all the way back there. All right. But all of a sudden I'm going back and it literally, oh, look at this. They literally pushed it. Yep. It's just loaded. Is it got stuff in it? Alright. That might not hurt us. It put more weight on the back wheels to pull you out. Yeah, give me a little bit. Let me, I'll run over there and be right back. Alright, gotcha. We're trying to get back to the truck quickly, but it's raining out. Like I said, we're in a sports car, and Mike also did this to the tires. <laughs> So 
This is like the slowest rescue mission of all time. I'll honk. Don't give it. Don't give it a ton of gas. Just, just be, just be nice and like a little throttle. All set? Hey, you wanna give me a name? I can give it to my boss. Well, well, don't do that. But my name, my name is Bobby. I just, I'm, I'm happy to help you guys. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you very Take much. Take care, man. Yeah, happy right. holidays. Yep, yep. That leads us to our other problem with getting a Corvette. Is I would lose the ability to do that because I'd have to get rid of my Silverado ZR2, and that would suck. I, I would hate. I couldn't afford it without getting rid of one of my vehicles. So it's a very, very tough decision because stuff like that, it's so much fun. It's so much fun to be able to help people make their lives easy. I work blue collar work just like that, dude. And whenever stuff like that happens, it just is like, man, today already sucks. Like the guy's emptying out porta potties for a living. Not that that's a bad job, but it's like, you don't need with, with work like that, where you're in the grain and, and working hard to make sure the world goes round. You don't need to get stuck on top of it, destroy property. I mean, that guy's yard's all messed up. Even though that's not the biggest deal, you guys saw it took 10 seconds, but I mean, think of it. That would have, any one of you who own a truck live for that too. You, we, we love doing this. We love helping out. It shows off our truck's abilities. It's fun, problem solving, but it also saves that guy the headache. The, I mean, they would have had a towing company come out that would have cost a hundred bucks minimum to have gotten that truck out of there. And now he doesn't have to hear about it from his boss. I don't know, man. The, the truck just seems, even though winning a race and going out to Slipstream, racing on a NASCAR track like we do for free, for, as a job for Pocono Slipstream is, even though that is so, so much fun, so suspenseful, off-roading and having a truck that's capable of doing what this truck just did, just having the means to have a truck bed, to haul stuff around, tow stuff, it makes it very, very tough to stray away from the off-roading culture of this channel. So I'll let you guys decide. You guys are the captains of this ship. I'll go wherever you guys want me to go. It's one or the other, so pick carefully. Thank you guys so much for watching. Likes are always appreciated. Slap a like on this video for saving the day for the average citizen. Chevy coming through once again. Had to save a Raptor in the last video, two videos ago. And now, whatever the hell that thing is, Freightliner, I don't know. Regardless, it weighed like four times as much as a Raptor does because it was filled at the top with poop. So it was very, very heavy. We're able to pull it out in the mud. Say Chevy for the win in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, rfracing717, Z06, or ZR2. Let me know what you guys want in the future. See you next time.